Today, let's look at the Maris Smart Wi-Fi Oil Diffuser. It's the middle of the winter where I live, it's cold, dark, and the air gets really dry. An oil diffuser is like a mini humidifier with the added benefit of being able to diffuse oils to freshen up your space. Sounds pretty good to me, and why not add HomeKit support to the list so you can incorporate the diffuser into your scenes and home automations. It's time to take a closer look. Hi everyone, I'm the Brad Lloyd, and if you're new here, my channel's all about smart home tech with a focus on Apple HomeKit. The Maris Essential Oil Diffuser is a product that I've been anxious to test out, and I'm excited that HomeKit support was recently added. So now, it works with all three major smart home platforms like Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant. Of course, it's the HomeKit support that interests me, and this came at the perfect time during the winter. I want to thank Maris for sending me their essential oil diffuser to test out for all of you. I've been impressed with the quality of Maris products and I also find that they're affordable, making them an overall excellent value. I have a couple more products from Maris that I'll be reviewing in the coming weeks, so I've just created a Maris playlist on this channel so you can easily find these reviews. Maris doesn't provide any talking points and I assure you, I'm free to fully test this out and provide you my honest feedback. Also some exciting news, Maris is offering my viewers a 15% discount on not only their essential oil diffuser, but also their 5 meter light strip, which I'll be reviewing in an upcoming video. The discount code is available till the end of February, details and links will be available in the description. The HomeKit functionality is great, and I'll go over what it can and can't do in HomeKit, and I'll share some fun and useful ways on how to incorporate this into your smart home. But first and foremost, this is an oil diffuser. Stick around so you can see how this compares to some other oil diffusers, including the HomeKit enabled Vocalink oil diffuser. Let's take a closer look at what the Maris Smart Wi-Fi Essential Oil Diffuser has to offer. First, let's look at the design. It's a pretty average size at around 17 centimeters wide, 25 centimeters high, and has this opaque faux wood skin, which I think looks quite nice and fits in well with my home decor. There's also an RGB light that shines through the narrow ring along the bottom, as well as along the inner spout at the top. This has a 400 milliliter water tank capacity, which lasts up to 10 hours on a low mist and 7.5 hours on a strong mist. The unit, like other diffusers I've used, will turn off automatically once the water runs out, so there's no risk of overheating. There are buttons along the bottom to control the light as well as the mist, and I'm happy to say the LED indicator light can be turned off, which is great if you want to keep this in a bedroom where you may prefer complete darkness as you sleep. Maris says their diffuser is ultra quiet under 30 decibels, and I'll compare this to other products later in the video. The diffuser communicates using the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi band, which I generally find to be less reliable than technologies such as Zigbee or Thread, though I use other Maris products such as their smart plugs and lamp, and I've been impressed with their reliability so far. With Matter expected to be released later this year, I did ask Maris about this and I was told Matter will be launched in Q2 2022, which we've been actively developing. So it does appear that Maris will support Matter, which is really great to hear. Setting up the device is very easy. You can add this from either the Home app or the Maris app. Maris recommends making sure your phone is connected on the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi band when adding the device, though I was connected to 5 GHz when I added it and it worked fine the first time. I was expecting a HomeKit code to be in the box, so it was a little awkward when I decided to fill up the water before plugging it in and scanning the code. Somehow, I managed not to spill any water. It's handy that Maris includes a measuring cup to make it easy to refill the water, though its capacity is 125 milliliters, which means if you want to completely fill up the tank from empty, it will take a few trips from your kitchen sink. It would have been nice to see Maris include a 400 milliliter measuring cup to make this easier, though overall, this detail is quite minor. In the home app, the Maris oil diffuser will have two tiles, one for the diffuser level and another for the light. If you prefer to keep the light and diffuser as one tile, you can certainly do so, though I find it simpler to keep them separate. To control the diffuser, you simply have the option to adjust the humidity level, so most of the time, I just leave this at 100%. If you scroll down, you can see the current relative humidity, so you could set this to a desired humidity level and it would turn off automatically. I have Eve Room close by and I've periodically compared the humidity readings and they're typically consistent. As mentioned, there are two diffuser settings, light and heavy, but when you turn it on from the home app, it will always be set to heavy. This is also the case with any automation you create in the home app or other third-party apps like Home Plus 5 or Controller for HomeKit. You can, however, customize the mist level if you create a routine in the Maris app. 
So if you're looking to set up a schedule where you have the diffuser come on at a certain time each day and you just want the light mist, then you can certainly do this from the Maris app. The diffuser lights exactly what you would expect. You can choose the light level in any one of 16 million available colors, which you can add into your existing scenes and automations, though it's worth noting that adaptive lighting is not supported. If you happen to receive an uncertified accessory error, you can just ignore this. Maris is aware and it's confirmed on their website that this does not affect performance. In the Maris app, you have a few more options. First of all, you have the option to select either a light or heavy spray, which I wish was an option in HomeKit as well. You can adjust the light temperature or color with an option to auto cycle, which is a cool effect that cycles through the different colors. Here in the Maris app, I also recommend you periodically check to make sure you have the latest firmware version. Before I give you my feedback on this product and show you some cool ways on how to incorporate this into your smart home, let's see how this looks compared to some other oil diffusers on the market. I've gathered all of my oil diffusers, some are smart and some are not. There are a ton of essential oil diffusers on the market, so I'm simply hoping to demonstrate that the oil diffuser functionality is comparable to standalone diffusers on the market. When it comes to a diffuser, I'm paying attention to the size of the water tank, how quiet it is, and the ability to adjust settings for low and high mist. It also needs to be powerful enough to diffuse the scent of essential oil throughout a medium to large size room. Sage is well known for their quality air diffusers and I have a couple of them here. I also have a diffuser that I received as a gift, so I'm not 100% sure where it's from. And finally, I have the Vocalink Flower Bud. Each of these diffusers have varying features and capacities. The Maris Wi-Fi diffuser has the largest water capacity, which I find to be an important feature. Maris says their unit is ultra quiet, so let's do a quick noise comparison. They're all relatively quiet, so to emphasize the difference, I've had to really increase the audio levels. It's hard to say which the winner was, they're pretty comparable. The Maris diffuser made some noise on a heavy mist that sounds a little bit like light water droplets. It's not loud though, if you're in a quiet room, you'll likely be able to hear it. Now let's turn them all on to max strength and see how much water they diffuse. Nothing scientific here, just the Brad Lloyd's good ol' eye test. They all did a fine job here. The medium sized sage diffuser had the strongest mist, though it may appear this way in part because of the narrow tip at the top. The Maris diffuser is number two in my opinion, so quite impressive. Overall, this tells me that the diffuser alone is equally as capable as other diffusers on the market. And given that this also has HomeKit support, I'd say that Maris has me hooked. Let's take a look at how this compares to the Vocalink Flower Bud, which also has HomeKit support. You can see the flower bud, which also connects using Wi-Fi, is a similar size to the Maris one. Though part of the shell is translucent, so unlike the Maris one, the body emits more light. It looks quite nice as well. As you saw earlier, it has a capacity of 300 milliliters, so 100 milliliters less than the Maris one. The flower bud also has two tiles in HomeKit, one for the diffuser and another for the mood light. Though the Vonkel Lake app does offer some additional effects such as flow, blink, and breathe. While I appreciate these effects, I have to be honest and say, while my daughter does use this diffuser in her room along with the light, she rarely uses the effects. In fact, the only time we've really used any of the effects is when I'm demonstrating it for a video. The flower bud also offers five different mist levels, which is nice, as opposed to just the two that Maris offers. I've been critical of Vocalink in the past, specifically their light strips which I find don't produce true colors and often don't respond, though their flower bud's actually been pretty reliable. The Vocalink flower bud sells on Amazon.com for $46.99 US, compared to $59.99 US for the Maris diffuser, though if you're watching this before March 1st, 2022, then check out the discount code in the description to save 15%. As to which one is better, well, that's up to you. They both work well, though the mist on the Maris one is a little bit stronger, and I like the larger water capacity as well. I think the difference may come down to style. The Vocal Link one looks really cool and fits well into my daughter's bedroom, while the Maris diffuser is a little more subtle, and I find the wood finish looks a little bit classier and may fit better into your main living space. Be sure to let me know in the comments which style you prefer. So why not just add a smart plug to an ordinary oil diffuser? 
Well, perhaps this could work with some oil diffusers. In my experience though, with the diffusers I've owned, this won't work. The smart plug will power the diffuser, but they'll still need to be manually powered on. Perhaps you could install a switch bot to press the button for you, but that's a pretty costly addition when you could just get a smart diffuser. Okay, HomeKit controls. Let's talk about what's possible. You can use Siri to control both the diffuser and its light. You can also program a button or NFC tag for convenient controls. Here's some automations that I've tried. Time-based automations. I typically come downstairs around 7.30 in the morning, so I've set the diffuser to turn on at 7.15 for one hour. This is just a great way to start the day and makes waking up a little bit easier. While this isn't as powerful and has a smaller water tank than a typical humidifier, this can help add extra moisture to the air, even if you don't wanna add any essential oils. Simply create an automation based on when the humidity falls below a certain level. Instead of using a room spray after going to the washroom, why not diffuse some essential oils? This can easily be set up using a motion sensor to trigger the automation, or if you have a button like this flick button that I'm using, you can turn on the exhaust fan and the oil diffuser at the same time. Or how about a relaxing bathtub scene? Dim the lights, play some relaxing music, and diffuse your favorite oil. I've also tried this in our bedrooms, especially if someone in the family's under the weather. When I set the goodnight scene, not only do my doors lock and my bedroom lights turn on, but I can diffuse some calming oils for a couple of hours and then have it turn off automatically. How would you incorporate this into your home automations? Share your ideas in the comments so we can all try them out. It's recommended that you clean this unit every three to five days or when switching oils. It only takes two minutes and will ensure it lasts a long time. Unplug the unit and make sure to empty any existing water by pouring it out from the right side. I'm not exactly sure, but I expect it has something to do with the air vent on the left side. Give it a quick rinse, then add a mild detergent like a drop of Dawn dish soap and gently scrub. I'm using a brush here, but a gentle sponge or cloth would also work. Maris says not to use any acid or enzyme detergent. The outside of the unit can be wiped with a damp cloth. Make sure not to get any water down the spout. So overall, I really like this product. It's been a great addition to my smart home and I know it's gonna to continue to get a ton of use, especially over these dry winter months where the furnace is running, just further drying the air. Even when it's not being used, it looks nice, especially with the light along the bottom. If there's one feature that I could add though, I think a water level indicator would be nice. It'd be great to see how much water is in the unit and then just top it up as needed. If you wanna get your hands on this, either for yourself or perhaps a Valentine's Day gift, then this is available from the Maris website, which for my fellow Canadian viewers out there, also ships to Canada. This is not available on Amazon, but sells on the Maris store for $59.99 US. And don't forget to use the link in the description that Maris has provided for my subscribers. The promo code is Brad Lloyd, one word. That's it for this week. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.